According to reports, Holly Willoughby's lack of commitment to return as the show's host has put the executives of Dancing on Ice in a crisis. The 42-year-old TV host reportedly expressed reluctance to return to the ITV skating program when it resumes in January after leaving her position on this morning last month. The next series cast has already been confirmed, but Holly's co-host, Philip Schofield's departure from the program earlier this year, has left the presenting roles up in the air. The source, who spoke to The Sun, stated, Dancing on Ice producers are essentially in a limbo until they can figure out who will be in charge when the show returns. Even though it typically doesn't begin until the middle of January, bosses are increasingly operating on a schedule that is expressed in weeks rather than months. Having all of the crew and a number of celebrities working toward the first show, but nobody clinched to present it is a very precarious position to be in. Dancing on Ice was co-hosted by Holly and Philip, 61, from the show's launch in 2006 until 2011. Holly was subsequently replaced by Christine Lampard for the final three series, which ran till 2014. ITV then brought the show back in 2018, with Holly and Philip serving as hosts once again, till this year. Following his admission of lying to ITV regarding a love relationship he had with a previous colleague who was younger, Philip was sacked by the network, therefore ending his employment at this morning. After filling in for Philip when he became ill with COVID last year and hosting the offshoot series Defrosted for a Year back in 2006, Stephen Mulhern has emerged as the frontrunner to succeed Philip. The 46-year-old TV host said last month that he is in talks with management to become a co-host, but no formal announcement has been made. Stephen told Mail and Line that co-hosting with long-standing friend and colleague Holly always makes for a great time and that it would be amazing to front the show. He stated, I really enjoyed it and it was so lovely being back with Holly. I used to do the spin-off show, Defrosted, and when I stood in for Phil when he wasn't too well, he had COVID. We had a fantastic time together, and many of the team members were familiar from my time on the ITV2 show. We are discussing it. But I can assure you that nothing is official just yet. If it does happen, it will be nothing short of spectacular. If not, well, it doesn't happen. If we had confirmation at this stage, I swear to you that I would let you know. This lineup represents the best it has in a number of years. Just in case, I'm keeping an eye on the lineup. It has been around for a while and is a major staple. Holly's future on the program is still up in the air, though, as she abruptly left this morning last month, citing a purported kidnap and murder plot as the final straw. In a statement, Holly, a mother of three who first appeared on This Morning in 2009, said that she was quitting the program for the sake of her family. It said that Holly, the former Golden Girl of British television, is now in legal limbo as a result of the criminal proceedings. But Dr. Ranj Singh, her former co-worker, disclosed on Wednesday that Holly will return to television in the future after resolving the difficult situation she finds herself in. The former This Morning doctor stated, Of course she will come back to TV. She's too good not to. In an interview with Closer magazine, she's so good at it. It would be a shame for her to back away completely. I don't know where or what show. Dr. Range continued by saying that he had inquired about Holly's well-being during her difficult ordeal, disclosing, She answered and all is well. Obviously, she made a really difficult decision and is in a really difficult place, but it would be kind to reach out and just check in. Stars, including former Love Island winner and West End actor Amber Davies, former professional boxer Ricky Hatton, actress Claire Sweeney, Ryan Thomas from Corrie, radio DJ Adele Roberts, and S Club 7 singer Hannah Spirit are getting ready to take on the Ice Challenge this year. Actor Ricky Norwood from EastEnders, Miles Nazaire from Made in Chelsea, Olympian Greg Rutherford, ski jumper Eddie the Eagle, comedian Lou Sanders, and Roxy Shahidi from Emmerdale round out the list.